my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. I am currently at the bus stop in Dubrovnik and we are waiting for a bus that will take us to Mostar, Bosnia Herzegovina. Our bus was supposed to leave at 4 p.m. It is now 5.25 p.m. and there is still no sign of the bus. So yeah, we have been waiting for quite a while. In this vlog you'll get to join me and my boyfriend exploring Mostar. I hope, as long as the bus will arrive soon, hopefully. Two hours later, we are finally on the bus. But I must say, these are some very, very tight seats. The trip costed us around 22 euros each and it was a beautiful bus ride. We were first driving along the coastline of Croatia and then later on through some beautiful mountains. The trip was supposed to take three and a half hours, but as said, we left over two hours late and also ended up driving for about an hour longer than expected. I am now standing on Bosnian Herzegovina ground for the first time. This is a new country point for me. We are having a break here and next to some random town. We are at some kind of little rest stop it's been a really nice uh, bus drive so far first we have the beautiful water coastline then we were driving through mountains and it was beautiful having a little break now and then i think we'll soon be arriving to mostar we have finally arrived to mostar and come to our mini apartment here and we just met up with the owner she gave us so many tips on things to do and tours and everything so i think we'll have a great time here i'm gonna head to bed now and tomorrow morning i'll give you guys a tour of where we are staying good night good morning we've just woken up and i took a shower and i'll now give you guys a quick tour of our little apartment or room I guess looks like this um, we have air conditioning so that's important and there's unfortunately no kitchen but there is like a water cooker and a fridge but luckily the food and restaurants here are quite affordable so that shouldn't be a problem there's a TV and a little couch and a little mirror and here you can see a bit of our view it's not that amazing, but it's all right. Then in here you see our bathroom. I just took a shower, the hot water was working just fine. So that's nice. It's nothing super special, but I think this will be just fine for us for three nights. It was really, really cheap. Um, don't remember the exact price, but for three nights we're paying this much. <laughs> I'll insert the price here. A quick intermission about the currency here. In Bosnia-Herzegovina, they have the Bosnian mark. When we were visiting, the exchange rate to Euro was about half, but what surprised us was that many places like tours, our accommodation, and etc. also accepted euros. now for some lunch so this probably slightly touristic spot but it is very beautifully located looks really nice the people working here are wearing like traditional clothing and the prices were okay probably from a local standpoint it's a bit pricey and my boyfriend ordered some Bosnian coffee as well which looks very interesting okay I hate coffee and my boyfriend is telling me that I have to try the coffee here
not for me. I guess the sugar gives it a bit of a sweetness in the end. Yeah. One mini sip is enough for me. Okay, this mushroom rice portion I ordered is so, so, so good. Delicious. Walking in the city is not the easiest because it's like these rocks, but they're extremely slippery. And going downhill, it's not easy. Definitely do not, not wear heels when in Mostar or you will you will die. But look at this view. As you could probably see, the old town was starting to get crazy busy. That's because a lot of like day tours come here for the day from Dubrovnik and stuff. And there's a lot of these like huge tour groups going on and stuff. And it was getting so busy and like impossible to walk. That's the nice part about staying here for the night is that we can then revisit the old town a bit later today once all those big tour groups have left. And hopefully it will be much calmer by then. So we decided to escape <laughs> the old town for a little bit. And we came to a cafe that we walked past when we were on our way there. And I saw these ladies having this like cake that was huge and white and fluffy and looked really good. And I came here and I asked what it was and it was something called a creme pita so I hope that's good I ordered that and we also ordered some fresh juices I received my cake and look at it it's all jiggly 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 just tastes very sweet So after the cafe, we actually went back to our little apartment and relaxed for a little while. So we're now walking back towards the old town and our plan now is to walk around a bit. There are a few places we want to see and then eventually we'll try and find some nice dinner spots. By the way, look at this apartment complex here. <laughs> it looks kind of crazy. What we wanted to see were some old war buildings. The history of Bosnia and Herzegovina is quite dark and also fairly recent. The latest war didn't end until 1995 and you can still today see the damage that it did to the cities. For example, there are a lot of abandoned buildings and you can still see the bullet holes in the walls.
morning. Today we are doing a tour. It's a full day tour and we're gonna visit three popular destinations close by to the Moster area. It costs 20 euros for the whole day, which I think is quite a reasonable price. And over here you can see our bus. It's a bit like an open bus. I'm really excited to explore the area. One of the places where we're going to is a place I've been wanting to visit like for years because I remember seeing a picture of the place like many years ago somewhere. So it feels really nice that today I'm actually visiting that place in real life. We're also visiting some beautiful waterfalls where we'll be able to swim and yeah, a bunch of interesting places. We have now arrived to the first destination, it's Blagai and this is the place I had seen in some travel magazine or something years ago. Um, it's not a very big place but it's supposed to be very very beautiful so I'm excited to finally see this famous view in real life. to head towards the next destination. I believe our next destination is to climb up there. All these actual people that live from Portugal over the hill. Nobody actually lives here. Biggest attraction of this place is those two fortresses. So that's pretty much about this place. Almost at the top, there's still a tower that you can climb where there's apparently a 360 view over the place. Although the view is already quite nice from here. We have reached the top. If you're scared of heights, I wouldn't say this is the most safely done climb you can do. There are quite some spots where you could possibly fall down, but yeah, the views are beautiful. And at the top there's like this kind of, I guess, inside area with a bunch of different windows from where you can have a look outside. say I'm scared of heights or I'm not scared of heights but I am a little bit scared of having to climb downwards like climbing up yeah it can be tiring but I'm fine with it but if it's very steep uh, down I, I hate it and yeah climbing down that tower was very steep at some parts and there wasn't anything to hold on to so feeling a little bit shaky now but it's okay it's not that bad I've done much worse but I do notice I have a small fear of climbing steeply down I don't know if there's a word for that or does anyone else have the same because I've never ever heard anyone say that they would have the same fear because I wouldn't say it's the same as afraid of heights it's different it's more I don't know afraid of slipping I don't know hard to explain but yeah these people who import the water here it's crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have arrived to our last stop of the day which are these beautiful waterfalls we're gonna now swim here and i think have something to eat
now back at the apartment after a super fun day tour. It did take all our juices <laughs> and we need to wake up quite early tomorrow. So I don't think we're gonna do much more tonight. But yeah, the tour was definitely very, very fun. I think it was definitely worth the money. The driver was really friendly and he told us a little bit about his life and a little bit about the war that was here 30 years ago and stuff like this. So it was very interesting. On the way home, I went to a little cafe and got myself this potato burek. And this costed me one euro and 50 cents. And it is huge. But yeah, I thought this is enough for me for tonight for dinner. By the way, if you don't have Bosnia Herzegovina on your bucket list yet, you should definitely add it. This country is beautiful and we have loved it so far. And yeah, if you come here, I would say spend at least one day in Mostar, but I do think one day is enough. It is very beautiful, but it's not super big. So you can pretty much do all the major sites within a day. And then if you have time, stay for another day and then do this tour. What we've done basically two whole days here is pretty much what you need. Tomorrow morning, we are taking the train to Sarajevo. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides in all of Europe. It only costed us seven euros as well. So I am very excited about that. Uh, but I am gonna end this video here because I think it's already quite long, I don't know and start my next video where I'll be showing you guys the train ride and also the city of Sarajevo, which is the capital here. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my potato burek now and relax and get an early night's sleep as our train tomorrow leaves a little bit after 6 a.m. So we need to be awake and ready to go quite early. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to see also future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!